As an artist, your creativity is your most valuable asset, but it's also one that requires care and attention. The pressures of constant creation, deadlines, and the pursuit of perfection can take a toll on your mental, emotional, and physical well-being. In the next few videos, we'll explore the importance of self-care for artists and how it can enhance your creativity, sustain your passion, and lead you to a more fulfilling artistic journey. So I'm going to start off with physical and mental um, self-care for artists. I think it's a super important um, topic when we talk about self-care. Um, it's not a luxury. It's something that we should put into our art practice on a daily basis. It's really about prioritizing your well-being and it will help you to be a more creative person while you're working in your art practice. Remember that a well cared for artist is a thriving artist. So let's talk about physical self care. It doesn't matter if you're a painter, a sculptor, a writer, or a musician, physical well being directly impacts your ability to create art. I think it's really easy for us to overlook this area because it's just not on the front of our mind a lot of times as an artist. But I truly believe if we focus on physical self-care as an artist, it will really give us the energy that we need to produce the art that we like. So I do believe that there is a connection between our creativity and our physical bodies. And it really comes down to if there's any discomfort discomforts within our body that is making it hard for us to produce that art that we love. We just don't want to ignore it. So one of the first things that I think about is my creative space, where my desk is located, how easy it is for me to reach for my pens and my paintbrushes. Maintain good posture and make sure that everything is kind of where we need it in our art space, which comes to strengthening those muscles and stretching those muscles. So sometimes when I am practicing my art, you know, I might stretch out my wrists, um, I might roll my wrists a little bit, really taking the time to um, get that ready um, for your art practice. Something that I participated in recently, my daughter and I went down to Indianapolis um, where my best friend, who is a masseuse, um, was taking some training in Thai massage and we got a full body Thai massage, which was amazing, highly recommend. But one thing that she did was she massaged um, our hands and it was like the best hand massage I have ever had. It focused on each finger and the wrist and the palm and everything. And of course, being that she is my best friend, she also prayed over me um, during that time too, which was just made it extra special. I don't have any video from it, but I do have some pictures that I'm gonna throw up on the screen somewhere um, of my daughter and I after we were done. And it was amazing. I love to go on walks. I also love to run. I don't run as much as I used to, um, but I do try to keep that in my routine and it just helps with my overall energy levels, mental clarity when I need to think about things and I'll listen to podcasts um, that really help me as well. So staying hydrated might sound a little silly. Making sure that we have adequate water throughout the day really helps with fatigue. 
Um, so anytime that I'm kind of feeling tired or sluggish, but I know that I've got some art that I need to work on, I'll drink a full bottle of water um, or at least have it on hand while I'm doing my art and it really helps kind of wake, it, wake me up um, and gets me going. And then also a healthy snack. Um, <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm no professional nutritionist, but I like to um, cut up apples and make sure I have those. I've done carrot and carrots and hummus before while I'm working on my art. Sometimes my hands do get messy, but for the most part, just having that snack on hand um, is really helpful as well. Just making sure that my energy levels are staying up, I'm staying hydrated, and I can get my artwork done. It's something that artists don't talk about enough. I'll tell you that right now. I don't think, I don't know if I've heard anyone talk about it before. And so ho hopefully that will help you out. Um, when you know that you have a lot of work to do, you need to take care of yourself. And that gets me to the rest. It is so important that we remember to rest. And this is really where we can schedule those rests or even scheduling the breaks that we need throughout our day as part of our art practice. So just remember to take a day off. Maybe do something that's going to help you relax. Maybe that's, um, you know, reading a good book or taking a walk or something like that or just taking a break and stepping away from your work. Um, I don't know about you, but that's helped me a lot as an artist to step away from my work and come back to it. You kind of have like a, a fresh new um, set of eyes that you can look at the art and think, oh, well, I wanna make these changes. Um, but overall, physical self-care really should be a foundation of our art practice because it truly will help you be more creative and thrive. If you don't take care of yourself, you're going to be tired all the time. You're not going to feel well. You're not gonna feel good enough to even want to do art. So taking care of yourself, making sure that you're hydrated, making sure that you um, are well nourished and you have stretched and taking care of your hand and go get those massages. Um, for your hand, both hands, of course, <laughs> but go get those massages and you will be able to sustain yourself as an artist um, and really find joy in your work. I said I was going to talk about mental self-care in this video. However, I've decided to make a separate video about it. So check out this next video about our mental self-care as artists.